Hello! Thank you for listening to the Theory of Creativity's podcast. Today we will be discussing the <laughs> ever elegant topic of poop. Thank you for listening. Um, yeah, poop. We all do it. Uh, we don't like to talk about it. Um, it's like the big smelly elephant in the room, huh? You know, I swear I just had a dream last night of, like, somebody talking about poop. We are now. I know. So like, it was, was it like a, like a premonition of the future? Yeah, it was like, like, somebody I knew was, like, in one of my classes, and then all of a sudden, like, the topic of poop came up, and I was like, oh, ho, ho, giggles in my head, in my, my sleepy brain. Um, right, so, do you have any fond poop? Fond poops. Yeah, poops that, that, that you think about quite a bit. The poops that make me feel skinny afterwards. Those are the best poops. The poops that are like, oh my god, I've needed that for days. Like, those are good. It's probably because I just, like, I eat a lot when I do. Hmm. So they just come out extra big. All at once. All at once. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but my colon's working. It's there. Hmm. Interesting. What about you? What are your, what are your fondest memories of... Of the the magic toilet. Mm, fondest memories. Uh, the kind of poops that that like it's like you're giving birth, I guess. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. We're, <laughs> we kind of have to work for it. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. We're just kind of keeps coming out. So like. Mm. Not not like a constipation, but 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 we're it like you you can feel it throughout your whole stomach and. <laughs> and it just, just like drops. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see, you need sound effects for this, though. Like, I don't think you can talk about poop without sound effects, because there's so many, like, weird there's, sounds yeah. that our bodies make. Yeah, there's, there's, like, the wet one, where it's a little, where it's like a, like a splash, and there's, like, the hard ones, where it's more of, like, a poop, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I, I'm not very good at making splash sounds, but, like, <laughs> no, doesn't, no, no, it's not the same. And then there's the, like, the pebble kind, where you're just pooping. Oh, those are the worst. Poop, 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 poop. I think those are my least favorite types of poop. Little rabbit poop. Yeah, basically. I don't hmm. know, like, uh. Um, okay, so I think it's funny that we're, like, categorizing our poops right now. But, okay, yeah. I mean, so what would you say is the healthiest poop? Well, one that takes less than t- two minutes, mm-hmm. like two and a half minutes. Um, one that's brown, uh, has the consistency of, like, uh, of, like, um... A soft poop? <laughs> <laughs> of, like, mashed potatoes, maybe? Like, like, a Yay! Uh, maybe, like, chunky mashed potatoes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a healthy poop. Right. So, have you ever, like had that experience where you haven't eaten corn like however long but then all of a sudden you find corn poop mm, this may be a bad thing but i don't look in the toilet after <laughs> after i poop it's it's never like on your list yeah. of things to do yeah i just take the toilet paper and just wipe it and then just throw it in <laughs> <laughs> done yeah. see ya yeah. uh th- okay so yeah oh wait okay so i've had a lot of friends that have had experiences where they like <laughs> nearly shit themselves in public places have you ever had any experience where you like had to say like maybe there wasn't toilet paper in like a public restroom and you have to take off your boxers or underwear and use that to wipe yourself uh yes yeah um uh, a couple years ago i had this like a full pizza and i ate it in, <laughs> in like in like an hour or two and th- this was like like an hour or two hours before i went to sleep and in the morning i had to go to work and on my way there oh, no. it all start coming right <laughs> oh, no. and there was no restroom around um because you know i've told you this several times where when i come here right it's I like a ritual a, yeah it's weird how my body wants to poop here so same thing i was driving no restroom around and i felt and i felt it coming and there was no time there was no time to for hesitation so i pulled into a church parking lot oh uh, yeah i think you remember telling me i story. uh i dropped trowel and then got just it was like a wet kind too so it was oh, really it was really hard God. to keep in so i just splashed it all on the <laughs> church parking lot <laughs> Somebody must have been pissed the next Uh, day. I I, uh, soiled my undies, so I had to, I tossed those out too. Yeah. Um, Luckily, I always keep napkins in the, in the glove compartment. Yeah. So I use those and I went to work uh, without any undies and flopping, you know. (laughs) 
sticky. <laughs> oh my god, this seriously. Okay, so I'm gonna have to post this in um, in the description. But there's this funny, funny comedian who talked about her experience on a persimmon diet, and she was like stuck in traffic, right? And the persimmons like they flush you out. So what, what's a persimmon? It's it's like a fruit with really oh prune like a, like a sort of, but it's it's different. Um, and they've got seeds in them, and it's supposed to be very healthy for you. But she was stuck in traffic, and um, yep, she just had to uh, to shit herself in her car. And it, she, I mean, the way she explains it is so so just perfect. I don't know if I have a story like that necessarily. I try to make sure that if I'm going out, I make sure that there's restroom everywhere. Um, but you know, like I think my least favorite experiences have been like where I go to a public restroom, I squat myself on the toilet. I you don't sit on it. I usually don't not on public not? restrooms. Um, due to the fact that one day or one time I got like MRSA from a toilet seat. What? Yeah. And this big old boil on my butt cheek for like months. It was Ouch. disgusting. Ugh, it was oozing. Yeah. So for those of you who have weak stomachs, please don't listen to this podcast. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You walked into it a little late for that. But yeah, so it was gross. Um, just be careful on public toilet seats. Yeah, but but they have the um like the little paper seats, right? They can just, didn't you lay that down? I don't ever do that. Why not? I don't know. I think it's just because like it's a hassle and it's like you're already in the toilet. I already have to go. I feel like I would shit myself before I put that on there. Isn't it kind of, kind of annoying when like you you're you, you have to go poop and you, uh you're doing a pretty good job at hold at holding it in but then like once you get close like quote quote unquote close mm-hmm. which is like two miles away or <laughs> or something then it starts to come like your body is is, is like no nope. prepping your now you know <laughs> yes <laughs> and you're like that's all you can think about too like that's, and you try to think of something oh else. my god <laughs> and like a second feels like a year (laughs) it's the same thing with like bladder like uh i've got a very small bladder so like i need to get to the bath too um now so i drink a lot of coffee and i also take like daily fiber pills just to make sure that like everything's moving slow smooth up in there um is there anything that you drink or eat to make that bowel number one not number two is there anything that i drink to pee more or no no like to make your bowel movement the number one bell moment you know i was trying to make a joke there i didn't go very okay <laughs> anyway um anyway uh i you made me forget what i, what I was gonna talk about so like but, you um, don't like drink or eat anything make anything like smooth up in there like it, mm, um fibrous thing yeah yeah you know like um fibrous thing like, so basically just like couch fiber couch fiber mm-hmm. what like the fabric on it yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> like no like um you know like broccoli and beans and uh, apples and things like that yeah i can see you know i really wish that like it was more socially acceptable to like fart and have like your bodily functions in public because i feel like my life a lot easier. i fart a lot hmm. right it i don't think it should be socially acceptable people because you know it still smells no one wants to smell that I guess you're right. But oh yeah, this is this is what what I meant to to bring up was that everyone should have a bedpan and like maybe some toilet paper in their cars just in case. That's a good point. Like safety first. Yeah, could you imagine they start to make cars with like a like a trap hole in the seat? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, that'd be kind of cool because like for those people that like do long long distance drives i think that like uh like sumo drivers no semi semi drivers sumo drivers (laughs) (laughs) it's a whole nother realm of oddity there but uh yeah i think i don't know like i wonder what they do i bet they just like pull over and squat Mm. oh okay so cool experience probably the coolest experience this wasn't a poop but this was a pee i was i was in iran and my uncle and i we were driving uh, from Tehran down to the Persian Gulf and it's about a five-hour drive um, so we got there and it was beautiful but on the way back like I mean if you've ever like studied Iran's geography it's very mountainous and it's beautiful like absolutely beautiful so it's like sunset um i had to pee so my uncle like pulled over on the side of the road and like there's like traffic going all through this place and i just had to pee so i like we got out and i peed on the side of a very beautiful mountain sorry zagros mountain and like sunset and it was just like perfect like if i could have that experience <laughs> every single day for the rest of my life yeah yeah i had a similar experience but not as uh as uh, majestic as that i was in like a summer camp um 
and we were traveling around Dayton and I drank a lot of a, a lot of water and have you been to that like garden in sort of in like the West Carrollton it's like a pretty nice garden is it uh, one of the metro parks that we got around here it might be I'm not is it like beautiful and flowers lots of flowers stuff mm, everywhere yeah. I, I think I know what you're talking about yeah all right so we went there and we were supposed to like go to the restroom or something and <laughs> and uh, we I guess end up not going to the restroom <laughs> and they just uh, threw my consideration out the window and we just went to the next destination and my bladder has never felt so engorged <laughs> In, in my life like it, it really felt like it was about to burst yeah like a balloon and uh once i i jumped out you know the the uh bus was full of like girls and guys and you know 20 uh 20 feet away i found a fence zipped down and uh shot out um a powerful uh <laughs> stream a stream of <laughs> urine felt great yeah, yeah. oh yeah hmm. but back to the to our main topic <laughs> back to our number two a uh, number two <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so there's like green poops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you had green poops? I have. You know, okay. So after that um, FLCL podcast we had for MSG, um, you know, I had to eat a lot of beets. None of my poop turned out red. I was kind of disappointed. It really wasn't a lot. Like you had three, maybe. Yeah, but it's kind of hoping for. A little... You wanted it to be. No, 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 no. I meant like a little bit more red, but. Why? Did you want it red? Just to see. Just freak out over it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think I had. Oh yeah, I have had green. Like the time that I've noticed that I, I had green is when I would eat like 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 a, a tub of that funfetti uh, icing cake icing oh yeah it would turn it green all the dye every time, yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. everything oh yeah I remember that I used to do that when I was a kid too and and bloody poops like you never had a bloody you were bloody not bloody but like my rectum would burn after eating spicy food yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. that happens like curry will do that to me mm. yep curry's delish though spice hot red when I had red and and people would say that you know why I eat, eat spicy food if it's, you know, if it's going to mess you up. And I'm like, have you had uh, <laughs> beast food? It's tasty. It's it, it's uh, orgasmic. Honestly, I feel like there's a lot of health benefits to it, even mm. if it burns. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, the capsaicin in spicy foods uh, helps uh, to promote weight loss. Mm -hmm. And um, the spiciness has like an, an addictive quality to it. So you want to eat more of it. Yes. Yeah. yes. And I want to say it helps with like blood pressure maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can see that too. And it helps keeping a clear colon, I guess. Right. I, don't, <laughs> I, I will say this. I'm not a nutritionist, but poop is good and you should eat spicy foods to mm -hmm. make poop feel better, but not your rectum. Mm. Is there any way around that? Like like rub something on on it, uh, like pre uh, preparation H maybe. Yes, okay. I think so. Yeah, like has your butt like burned so so much that that you like take some toilet paper and just <laughs> and just, just like, like keep it there like it yeah. hurts. Yeah, no. No, I've never done well, that before. M me neither. So. Just a question. Yeah. Okay. Just an honest uh, question that hasn't happened to me. <laughs> Um, okay, so another least favorite experience is like when you have like a weird soft poop, but like it's it's so bad that like you just have to keep wiping. It's like the endless wipe, mm. you know? Yeah, you feel like you're using the whole toilet paper roll just for like same speed, not that much. Oh yeah, and then like you use so much toilet paper and like your toilet clogs mm. and like you're in a public place and you're like, well, not much I can do about this. So you just leave this floating turd with all the toilet paper in the toilet somebody else to find you're one of those people so that's what are you, you supposed to do i've never had problem with too much toilet paper just use less but if you use got charm that... and ultra less less is more but if you're in public and you've got the endless wipe what are you supposed to do like what's the etiquette there don't use to as much toilet paper oh, so i should just like let my butt smell for the rest of the day Dude, how how much are you using for the for, for the, the endless poop i mean i kind of have to use a lot i mean you should have like each time you wipe there's be less and less right like less that's and less. in theory yes in theory i think you need to get your rectum checked out that's <laughs> I don't it think doesn't that's... happen all the time but it happens um right so 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 i guess this leads into how do you ball up your toilet paper or do you fold it I ball it up usually. It's not sophisticated. I'm not a sophisticated person. Hmm. I think that you get more out of it. Like, okay, so you can like take a folded one and like wipe it and then like fold it again and wipe it again. Okay, so you're, you're talking about like the science of pooping, right? Mm -hmm. So like maybe, or maybe it's like etiquette. I don't know. Like the etiquette of wiping your own butt. Maybe nobody taught me properly. Hmm. Right. Actually, 
I learned how to um, wipe with just one one uh, square of toilet paper. How do you do that? Wait, I'm gonna get a, some toilet paper. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the etiquette pooping. Now, a lot of people, I think, will say that, you know, farting, you should go to the toilet and you should probably do your business there. And like, um, you know, when you're in the toilet, I, I will say this, like as a girl, it is really, really hard to have a decent poop in a public bathroom because there's other girls that come in there and it's always like it feels like a judgment thing like i don't know if it's the same for guys where like you go into the public bathroom and you're taking a deuce and, and for guys it's different because you know if you're in the the stalls you're obviously taking a poop because you guys have urinals to pee right mm -hmm. so the stalls are specific for guys to be able to poop i kind of wish that in america we had stalls that went all the way down to the floor and maybe went up a little bit higher because then i'd feel a little bit safer about my poop smells not escaping the stall <laughs> speaking of have you seen those videos where like Pete where like, people are <laughs> like crawling underneath because I guess they have to poop that badly? You, what? Mm -hmm. Like so like somebody's like in the stall already mm -hmm. and they're like move over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what no i've never seen a yeah, video like we'll, that yeah after this we can watch a couple but okay back to how to wipe your butt with only one square toilet paper so i'm holding up a one square of toilet paper do you see this there i one, see it one, one square All right so what you'll what you'll want to do is you'll grab the middle with with your index finger and your this is thumb. origami this yeah. is what this is and you make a little hole take your middle finger <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just wipe, stick wipe the middle f oh that's nasty that's nasty oh man I and mean, then wash your hands definitely wash your hands yes oh that's so nasty yeah i are, will are consider gonna... <laughs> i will consider it and then i will probably never do it so there so we've talked about like wet poops have you ever had had the kind of wet poops where it felt like your butt was just like 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 it was slimy yeah because it was like on the inside of your cheek yeah oh mm. that's yeah so not only did you have to wipe your butthole but also like the your... the whole <laughs> cheeks your legs if you got mm. it that far Jeez. all the way up to the the, the lower back yep what <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> you got a whole area you gotta rub down i mean i think that's why they invented like the flushable wet wipes because mm. those make life so much easier back to the semi drivers what if they yeah. just wear diapers i wouldn't be surprised probably what i would yeah. do yeah that's yeah uh, hmm. like what if you're like okay so thinking about old people now like this does not make me feel excited to be an old person but like you know eventually your organs and stuff start shutting down so you just kind of let it go hmm. like as an old person you let what go you just you know like as an old person like oh you just start to smell and not care yeah like when you go into an old person's ha like house or uh uh old health care facility then it just kind of always smells in there hmm. it's like your bedpans and people. well maybe they they can't help it right they're you know they have limited movement and limited control over their body i think that's a, a good reason to always work you mm -hmm. know? yeah yeah because there will come a day where you just stop work everything just stops working and and you'll look back and and say man i should have done done this i should have done that but really i'm all about preventive maintenance mm -hmm. and stopping it before it gets there so work on your kegels those are the muscles that you want to work now prevent bladder and con say kegel kegels oh what's that it's it's where you okay so there's like that muscle and like your pelvic system that like um basically controls like urine um urine release um orgasm and i don't know if it actually works your rectum though i don't know if there's like a muscle in your just your glutes maybe i mean can you just squeeze it your rectum is that working it out or i think that's still part of the kegel though so maybe there is like a muscle back there interesting mm -hmm. yeah uh i think i mentioned this in a previous podcast but there's this old guy this old a asian guy that runs basically every day and he's like really old and you know he's got you know toned muscles and stuff so you know you definitely want to stay on stay on top of it it's never too late to stop and get things right nope. but enough of this exercise get back to poop yes there, we need more poop we need more are there poop any talk. tips that you could give to people to have uh better poop lives better poop lives um drink a lot of water 
I drink a lot of coffee. I should drink more water. Yeah, water, definitely. Fiber. Fiber is important. Your um, minerals and nutrients like salt and magnesium are really, really good for muscle um, movement. Uh, coffee does have magnesium in it. That's why it makes you poop. Nicotine also kind of relaxes the bowels. I'm not saying you should go out and smoke, but it does relax the bowels. Uh, Maybe to get yourself started, um, get like a stool softener, I guess, mm -hmm. or um, those, uh, I keep wanting to call it an, an epidural, but I know that, you know, those, yeah, those and in, so in, 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 uh, I've had them before. Medical reasons. Oh, and then they say to get your first like colonoscopy at like the age of 50, but I'm 25 and it's like, you know, I probably wouldn't mind getting one just to see like what's going on up there. Yeah. Um, that reminds me. So. A few years ago, my mom had uh, colon cancer. Wow, I didn't and, know that. Yeah, and she had some of her intestines removed. So yeah, everything was backed up. Um, and definitely a more like plant-based, like more vegetables and stuff is easier on your digestive system and um, will help prevent, you know, colon cancer and um, and help to move things more quickly. So, so so you'll poop more and have more healthier poops. Do you think maybe she would have anything to recommend? No. She, she um, is she she really just like eats the same stuff mm -hmm. even after uh yeah but like you know meats and stuff they rot in your system and you know that that can probably lead to smelly poops because mm -hmm. we've talked about this smelly poops that, that's yeah. right like what what country has the smelliest poops and i would imagine america uh, yeah a country that eats lots of like cheese and meat chemicals processed mm -hmm. stuff like that's the thing though it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna prolong your colon health prolong your health in general i mean it, it a lot of it starts in the gut you know your your mental health your physical health it all starts with weight um and you know like if you're eating a lot of fish that has mercury in it you could affect your brain um a lot of heavy metals and a lot of processed foods with chemicals that stuff sticks in your gut goes through your goes through bloodstream um into your kidneys your liver everything it affects everything so you have to consider that this stuff starts with what it starts at the mouth ends at the butt yep yep definitely i am actually in the process of of like trying out raw a raw vegan uh, diet i'm i'm gonna um so i still need a little bit more research on it but i definitely want to make my own acai bowls and Ooh, yeah. and buddha bowls and uh those like really like colorful vegetable dishes those mm -hmm. look really good yeah that sounds really good yeah so let us know what happens at that one because mm -hmm. i'd like i'd like to hear you like your experience with that one because mm -hmm. yeah. i i well i want to do a juice diet That's what I'm doing. yeah juice diet um and we've, we've talked about fasting a little bit like a while ago yeah. and i think that like a juice diet or like fasting can like, really help to give your digestive system a rest for for a little bit because really you know most people eat every single day so it's constantly working and three meals a day right and when you have a big meal right you feel tired and stuff right yeah so that that energy that you could use on other things is being used to help you digest digest this massive amount of food so it could lead to some depression anxiety, nausea all that stuff really mm -hmm. yeah yeah and I'm not, you know, uh, su su suggesting that people start fasting and, and uh, juicing and stuff. Right, because we're not nutritionists. We're just right. advocates. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of spreading information um, in case, you know, you didn't know these things. But um, yeah, so yeah, tell me how that juice thing works out. That sounds... Know, yeah. I've heard flax, like flaxseed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is really good for that. Um, Another thing is like, um, I was reading about the feast and famine diet. That's It's kind of along the same lines as fasting, where you feast one day day for one large meal and then you skip a couple days and you let your body recover so that's the the feast and famine where you you basically like gorge on food in one day and it, it kind of goes back to like our ancestors where we were hunters and gatherers and we would hunt a big meal a big you know deer antelope whatever then we would feast on that one and then we'd go several days without eating a large meal and then we would hunt again and then we would eat again mm -hmm. Feast and fam. Right. I think I mentioned this on the time that we talked about fasting was that like it can like fasting for like three or more days for a certain for a certain amount of time can like increase brain function immune system mm -hmm. yeah so you know there's some benefits to like you know like pushing your body outside of you know what's comfortable because right so we pretty much most of us know that you know sugar you know sugar is is more rare in nature you know when we were hunters and gatherers 
so you know once we found that you know it really you know helped us to uh, to like thrive and and to uh sur- 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 survive so we uh but now since we have it so readily available we kind of are addicted to it yep. and so you would probably be more aware of what you eat if you're looking for for like a better quality of life in the long run but if you don't care just yeah. keep doing what you're doing you know if you want to have unhealthy nasty smelly poops acne yeah you're sick acne all the time. right yeah then yeah keep doing what you're doing yep. <laughs> yeah uh poop yeah this was a very um productive podcast informative and, um let us any... know about your poop comments right yeah <laughs> your favorite poops the, the color of it the smell whatever it is we're we're pretty open to to learning about your poop mm-hmm. speaking of uh I I like my own uh, poop and farts, but not anyone else's. Isn't that kind of crazy that we like something that stinks, but... Like, not anybody. Yeah, like, yeah. if I smell sm- somebody else's <laughs> farts or poop, I will gag. <laughs> like, my mom. I mean, she's, she lives pretty healthily. She, uh, she eats pretty decently. She eats a lot of vegetables, but her poops smell like... <laughs> Terrible, terrible. And asparagus, asparagus is like one of those foods that make your pee smell. I don't. I'm not a fan of asparagus. Right? Yeah. Y- you mentioned that, and I really like it. So maybe I'll make make some right. to where it's tasty. That that'd be good. I'll try it. Yes. And anyways, this has been a very uh, shitty podcast. <laughs> Um, this is actually one of our last the theory of you know, podcast last theory of podcast so we'll um so so i think we'll uh end this with a song right yeah that's right, not really working but up on my phone what's the internet for oh this is the i was gonna sing are you gonna sing it all right i'll sing the chorus <laughs> with you because i don't know the rest <clears throat> All right, so we're going to end this long, like, 35 podcast journey for now, right? For, for now. now. Uh, with, a, with, with a song from our childhood that I hold very dear. <laughs> hey, I thought you were going to use bongos. What? I can go get them. Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm no singer. This is just, like, me having some fun. <clears throat> are, are you ready? Ready. Yeah, start me off. <laughs> I'm just going to play. Okay, <laughs> okay let's, can you play it quiet? <laughs> All right. those, those are loud. I got rings on. Oh. So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. It's been great to play and sing together in the podcast, but now (laughs) it's time to say goodbye. So long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now until we meet again. So long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Again. <laughs> All right, goodbye, everybody.